So if you haven't heard, COVID's back. <laughs> Is it? It was never gone. It wasn't? Just so you know. It's was never it? gone. And it's deadlier than it was before. But it wasn't very deadly before. But look out! Super deadly. This variant, anyway. I'm afraid. The BS 24-7. <laughs> Super deadly. Is it really? And Are what, you joking? It's not That's called not that. real. Okay, no, it's, okay. it's called something else. Mm. All you need to be concerned with, though, is that you need to listen to the government again about what to do okay. with this deadly, not so deadly virus that will never be eradicated. Ever. As long Conveniently. As, as long as it can make <laughs> Pfizer some money mm -hmm. and make people scared. And give the government more control. Give them power, control, shutting down things, mm -hmm. and, and uh, pretty much opening up tyranny all across the board. It is what it seems like. Yeah. So... Our, what, what our, position, we <laughs> well, our position is that we won't comply with this huh. stuff. Yes. Yeah. Like we did last time. Like we did last time. And uh, we did a podcast on our Living Outside the Box podcast about uh, our take mm -hmm. on COVID-19. And, and we did it in September of 2020. But... Mm. Like, <laughs> Isn't it know? funny? Because like 2020, in September... I think when we made that episode, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, this is basically over. Yeah, it's done now. Like, like we it's, we put it behind us, but yeah. really, it just kept going. Yeah. Like the, that was the, three years ago. Yeah. Three years. Three, three, yeah, three yeah. years, wow. But all of our podcast episodes, basically from March 21st of 2020 through mm -hmm. that one, were kind of about it. Oh, we yeah. We were talking mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. like, talking going with the it. flow. Mm -hmm. For, you know, going with the flow, quote unquote, or yeah, we were talking around it because we were kind of like, we don't want our um, channels and our podcasts and whatever to be hurt yeah. by well, talking against it. We had seen that on like, well, Facebook, YouTube, that kind of thing, they were censoring people mm -hmm. and like, like just completely kicking people off the platform, which puts you in a weird position when you are... On these platforms it's like to I mean, earn an income yeah to earn yeah. an income like for example even with something like okay we had a podcast well that's hosted by a libsyn so uh, there were there were cases during the pandemic of like okay an app went onto the app store and you would think well that's pretty safe like you can just have an app no they can just take your app off the app store right. mm -hmm. uh, amazon can like the aws uh, which is like a server hosting thing uh, they can just kick you off. And so so it was this time of us trying to figure out like what what how what's the best way forward? Mm -hmm. Do, is it to just kind of not say much and hope that people kind of get it that you know how you feel? Like I remember on on my podcast, I did say that I still hugged people. Oh. And I got a one-star review. I don't I don't know like that was you actually told me about it cuz I don't, yeah. I don't look at my reviews, but I remember thinking maybe I shouldn't have said what I said mm -hmm. because, you know, like that, that got me a, a one star review. And if I do more things like that, perhaps that would that would lead to worse things. Yeah. And now I realize that was a mistake to even think like, to even entertain that thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I thought, you know, maybe our once we decided we're not going to do all this stuff and, and we're just going to risk whatever it is mm -hmm. that we have to risk, maybe. At first, I thought we have a, it's small. Like in our world, it's big. Like the income mm -hmm. that we get from it is big, but it's small, relatively speaking, to like these people who have big followings and make a lot of money on their channels and podcasts and things like that. So we weren't risking very much. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, no matter how much you have at risk, you have to stand against those things. That tyranny. Are, that, yeah, that yeah. tyranny. That is going to be worse in the end mm -hmm. if you just let it, you know, let it go. And I think even in the beginning, like March of 2020, we said the phrase, just put on the mask, just put on the mask. It's like, no, we no, 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 I'm we... trying to explain. We weren't telling people to put on the mask. We were saying, that's what people were, were saying. It's like, oh, just put on the mask. It's just a mask. It's Don't just worry two weeks. About it. It's just two weeks. It's just a mask. Don't worry about it. And we equated that with the, the, the star of David in the like the Holocaust time, right? Just put on the star. They're just using it to identify who people are, which is what the mask also did. 
for people here. Mm -hmm. So we saw that uh, that uh, that it was going to lead to more and more, and it did. It started mm -hmm. off with the mask, and it started off, then it moved into vaccine mandates at companies and. Uh, well, before that, it was like you have to shut down your business. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were there were businesses who did not comply, mm -hmm. and they were uh, like put into jail. I mean, uh, the the owners were mm -hmm. arrested. You know, there were there were you know it it wasn't uh, all the time. It was rare, but there were preachers and pastors who kept their churches open and were arrested physically, taken out of their churches and put into prison because they refused to comply with government regulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we made a decision back then and still maintain that we will not comply with that stuff. When mm -hmm. it was, uh, I got a job in May of 2020 mm -hmm. because we were traveling in an RV. Uh, then the pandemic closed all the, actually the pandemic did not close all the state parks. The week leaders <laughs> right. yeah. in those states closed the state parks mm -hmm. like get outside in nature and you'd be safe right safe quote unquote but then they closed all the nature they closed the beaches they closed they the beaches closed, they like... closed the parks they closed all this stuff so so uh we got off the road came back to uh central florida i got a job uh in may of 2020 they had kind of some loose guidelines about masks and when you should wear them and when you shouldn't wear them. And, uh, I wore one on two occasions. Oh, I forgot you caved. Well, I was at, hey, I, well, I won here. See, here's the thing. I was trying to provide right for the family. True. I was at the desk. This was at a car dealership. I was selling cars. So that's already one thing we can talk about some other time. <laughs> but so I was at the, at the desk with a customer. And one of my managers walked up and said, hey, you need to put on a mask because the customer had a mask on. So I put one on immediately. My glasses fogged up. I couldn't see anything. So then I just kind of adjusted it where it wasn't doing the thing it's supposed to do anyway, which they don't do the things. And uh, that infuriated me. And I thought, is this really good? Is this what I want? Where, where is this going? That, that month that that happened, I earned... $7,500. It was my second month at mm -hmm. the car dealership. Yeah. So that had like the beginnings of what could be a really good income, mm -hmm. right? Right. But then it moved on a little bit, like two weeks later, uh, where people were still hemming and, well, hemming and hawing. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's a word, about the masks. Like, when do you wear them? When do you not? The big boss is coming, so we got to put them on because the company's policy is this. Yet the big boss shows up without a mask on and people are scrambling saying, put on a mask, Tom's coming, put on a mask, Tom's coming. And I just said, Tom's not wearing one, I'm not wearing one. And then uh, about a week later, I guess, at that point, an email went out to the company. It was a Monday morning uh, and somebody sent me a text that said, uh, just to let you know, they sent out an e uh, corporate sent out an email that said, if you don't wear a mask at work, then don't come to work. And so I just replied and said, I'll be coming in to quit. <laughs> so I went in and I gave them my notice of immediate like right. evacuation. You don't want me here. You know. Yeah, you don't want me here because of this dumb thing. I'm not going to be here. And so they, because, I, because I'm uh, not to be like, be like a horn tutor or something, but I go to work, I do my job, I'm honest with people. So they wanted me to stay. So they said, look, here, look, you don't have to wear a mask. We'll, like, we'll give you an office in the back where people can meet with you there. You don't have to worry about any of that. And then, of course, that for me is like, this is uh, totally um, dishonest. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, yeah. hypocritical. hypocritical. It's um, all for show. And so obviously I didn't want to stay there then. It's mm -hmm. like I don't care what you know accommodations you're going to make. For me, like like it's some sort of disability that I don't want to wear a mask or something. They're gonna. I have a like, spine. Yeah, right. Yeah. You're you have a spine, so this is uh, what we're gonna do for you, so that you can continue to work here. Um, but I said no, not gonna do it, and I didn't know what I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't have other job lined up or anything like that. I just actually had to start doing odd jobs. Yeah. Where I knew I wouldn't be subjected to 
those rules. Mm -hmm. So if I was doing odd jobs for people or if I was doing, uh, I ended up doing handyman work and yard work and pressure washing. And at that point I knew that if one of the customers said something like, well, aren't you going to wear a mask? I just say no. And then I go work for somebody else or I say no and I do the job, you know, whatever they're going to tell me. But I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to work at a place that makes us do that. Mm -hmm. And then shortly, well, two years, almost two years later, yeah. uh -huh. right? I was still like, I, I was done doing that type of work because it's, it's like a, a whole long story anyway. Uh, but still, I was afraid to get a job for a company. Well, yeah. I mean, it was like, we don't want to go through that same thing. Right. And it's like every fall is kind of like, what's it going to be like this fall? And mm -hmm. I really, you know, I think I was, lured, I was lured into a false sense of security because I thought it, with each year that passed, it was like, okay, by what? Last year, there was like really nothing last mm -hmm. year, 2022. Yeah. It was basically like, okay, we finally put this nonsense mm -hmm. behind us completely here we are. Here we are again. Thanks a lot, Canada, <laughs> or whoever, wherever it's coming from. It's not coming from anywhere. It's made up. So well, it's, uh, not, it's not made yeah, up. Yeah, there's That's a virus not, out like, there. there. Like it, there has always sick. been though. Yeah, there, there always have yeah. been SARS coronaviruses. Yeah. It was on the Lysol can prior to this whole thing. Yeah, I think people it's remember that. It, well, I mean, it is the common cold virus, right. which means that there will always be a variant out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So it's ever present, but it's not anything to be concerned with. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was looking to change jobs, but I didn't want to work for a company because I didn't know what to do. So I got into insurance sales and I was going to do it remotely, but that wasn't working out so well. It was nice to be home, but the income wasn't what uh, had been reported as potentially for me. Or I, lost wasn't, money. <laughs> or I wasn't doing a good job. I'll say that. So I decided to, like, I found out about this company that looked like they were, you know, uh, not requiring that right. at all. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I knew somebody who worked there. I, I don't know if I talked to her about that per, in particular, mm -hmm. but I just kind of looked at their social media mm -hmm. and saw they kind of stayed out of stuff and all that. And uh, so I went there and I did find out that they weren't requiring anything at that time. However, I did see like masks around with the company's logo on mm -hmm. it and yeah. uh, different companies that they contracted with. And I saw those and I heard one of the people say, well, you know, if you don't have to wear a mask, but if a, you know, a customer or a client asks, then you should put one on. And I was like, Ain't it. I ain't going to do it. No, I don't think so. Um, and ultimately they never said anything about that, but I don't work there anymore. <laughs> but that had been a, a come and still is, especially now. I have mm -hmm. I've worked for a blue collar company, but even now, yep. people are still testing and coming up positive. And the company says if you test positive, you have to stay away for five days. And then I've seen several people on the yard wearing masks. I don't know if that's after like mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. they've had it and they've come back to work, because I think the the current um, guidance is. Five days away from people, mm -hmm. and then five days with a mask if you're going to be around people. So I don't know. Yeah, we poo poo that. <laughs> I don't know where that's going to go at mm -hmm. at my current job. I have like we're outside like yeah. the majority of the time, but there are signs still up from COVID. None of them are you know like followed. Like mm -hmm. nobody's wearing a mask in the thing except for I guess those people who got sick or whatever but there are there's a sign on the outside of the office door that says you can't come in you know because of COVID <laughs> but it's like well I don't think we're doing that anymore but I don't know what's going to happen right yeah. like as this stuff starts to build up again and um, the reports are coming out like should we be worried and all that no I, I can <laughs> no we shouldn't and I'm taking you know, Jordan Peterson is lying on that. He's not going to comply. Right. Like, over his dead body, will he wear a mask ever again? Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel the same way. Now, if in the future there's this actual thing that a real, like, respir <laughs> respiratory mask can do, okay, I'll do it. Or if I have to be in the hospital with a loved one 
and that's a requirement. We did say that from the beginning. Yeah. If like one of our kids goes into the hospital for some reason and they require that we wear a mask to go, we're gonna go because right. we can so we can right. be with them. My my plan with that was but they will have to like literally tell me, I will go there without one, I will enter the building without one, oh, yeah. and it will have to be you must leave your child's side mm -hmm. if you uh, and like I will put on a mask. For that, mm -hmm. but that's where my line is, and anything beyond that is, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Including like if I was in the hospital myself, I would just take it off. It's like you put yeah. it on me. Like yeah. Along you're going to have to physically put this on me mm -hmm. if you want me to comply. Yeah, and so uh, when I talked about testing before, a question that I have, we have all the time is like, why are people still testing when we know that it's a, just a, such a small small percentage of people who who get it and test positive even have symptoms and then beyond that have anything that's like worse than the common cold right that requires any sort of care right and i think it goes to victim mentality mm, maybe i need to take the test so that i can say that i have it so that people will feel sorry for me so that i can not go to work for five days it's so a good that excuse can... to get out of yeah. work for a week you know because but, like, I was really surprised to find it that, at my job that people don't necessarily want to work. <laughs> they're, like, looking for, you don't ways say. To, they're looking for ways to get off early or, you know, hopefully it storms today so that we can just leave. And, and then it's, like, this weird thing. Like, they'll have that, but then there'll be a couple of days where they had to be gone. And they're like, man, I need the hours. It's like, if you would just work the time that we're here and stay those times, then you would get it. But the this i really do think it is a feel sorry for me pity yeah. thing well and i think some people are just super afraid like they've just been trained to be afraid of it mm -hmm. and they never like is uh, that because they fear death or what comes after it well maybe i think i think that's at least part of the reason why mm -hmm. people are so afraid of germs right now it's like the the further and further we get away from being religious as a nation, mm -hmm. then more people are afraid of death. And people yeah. like, I think that's the whole push in the science community to try to like not age. Like that's everybody's focus. Oh, yeah. It's like, we can't, you know, like we can't age. We can't just die, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like we gotta live forever. It's right. Like, but meanwhile, they'll do things that have caused diseases, mm -hmm. you know? True. Yeah. Well, so that's the whole, you know, yeah. So contradictory thing, but right. But I think ultimately, what is that? What is that quote about? I think it's about tyranny, where it's uh, talking about you're not a, you don't know how to die. Like if you can't stand up for something, you don't know how to die. Mm. It's like basically. Yeah, I can't remember. When that you, when you believe in the thing, you got to stand up for it until, mm -hmm. it, even if it leads to death, right? Right. You have to stand up for your principles. What is right? until the end right and if you can't then you don't know how to die but it's a powerful thing and something that you have to uh i think you have to be strong in your beliefs yeah i think i've i mean obviously for the past three four years uh i've been thinking about that like because when you're doing something that is so different than what everyone else around you is doing. Now, I mean, I would say we were really lucky because most of our friends and family and acquaintances, by and large, I would say, were like us, mm -hmm. it, like in in sentiment. For Maybe the most part. like I don't know. Maybe not in total, not a hundred percent. Right, like mo most people I knew, even if they disagreed with the mask mandates, still wore the mask. Yeah. But they like I still they would, have to go to Target. Yeah, I still they, have to. No, you don't. Yeah, they would, um, they would say things like, later on, you know, once we got past that, like what helped them was to go with someone else and for them to agree, we're not going to wear a mask. And then they would go into the, like that, that would give them enough courage to go into the store without wearing the mask. Mm -hmm. And um, and that was the thing that, that helped them was to actually do things together. Yeah. And so, I so it, a lot of times it wasn't so much that they agreed with, you know, like we should just wear the mask. It was like, they don't want to comply, but they needed help having courage mm -hmm. to not comply. I remember specifically, I was at Lowe's with our oldest son and it was, we were outside in the garden center. So you're outside anyway. And um, this old friend came up, not not like an 
old friend of mine, but an old family friend. So she was, she's probably in her seventies mm-hmm. and she was wearing a mask and she came up and saw that we weren't. And she even said, you guys aren't, you guys aren't wearing masks. And I said, no, I don't wear them. And she took hers off and she said, oh, I can't breathe in this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I thought it's, she's around the same people. Like before she saw us, mm-hmm. the same people in the store were there. The same, employees, same the, information. The shoppers, right. the same information, the same information. Yet somebody was standing in front of her that she knew, whether she trusts my, you know, my knowledge or experience about a thing didn't matter. She just mm-hmm. saw somebody she knew that wasn't wearing one. And maybe it would have happened had she seen somebody else that she didn't know. And right. it just gave her the courage to just mm-hmm. take it off. Right. Or maybe she thought, well, if they go after anybody, they'll go after the young people and not the old, old yeah, person. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. A lot of people go after the weaker target. Sure. You know, yeah. like who's going to fight back? The old yeah. lady mm-hmm. or the guy with his with his son? Probably right. not the old lady. She's probably not going to fight back. She'll just put it on. Right. But moving forward, we've continued her. Yeah. Just like uh, we, the one time we went into a place where we were pretty sure we were going to have something said to us. Like, and I remember, oh, I hated the, the pandemic, like when, when all the mask requirements were there, because it was like every single place I went, it was stressful. It was like, I don't particularly like not complying. Like, I don't, I don't get a kick out of it. Um, so every time I was going to go to the store, I always wondered, like, is somebody going to make a big deal out of this? Not just like the people that work at the store, but the people who were in the store, customers, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, we went to, what was it, TJ Maxx? Yeah. And, uh, they, and they actually had someone in the vestibule who was like there to check to make sure you were masked up. And so we just went in and our attitude eventually became, we're going to go into a place and if they ask us to leave, then of course we'll leave, but we're going to just completely ignore like the, you know, the checkers and stuff like, in other words, that will prevent us from trying to enter. Mm -hmm. But if we are asked to leave, we will leave. And so, which was a little bit more aggressive than what we did in the beginning, which was if there's somebody checking at the door, we're just not even going to attempt it. They actually had two people. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. Somebody at the vestibule and somebody after them. Yeah. So like we went in and, uh, I remember like the woman immediately, well, she she just asked. She said, ma'am, do you have a mask? And I said, no. And I just kept walking. And I was being a wuss because I was like really yeah. walking fast. Like I just, I didn't want to deal with it. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then with the next lady some, stopped yeah. us. There was a sign that said, you are required to wear a mask basically. And so, yeah. So she, uh, she po- like pointed at the sign. And so I, I saw the sign, I read what it said. And I just went immediately to, to the to, exit to leave. Yeah. To leave. Because I was gonna look, I'm gonna comply. I'm not. I'm not there to like cause a scene. I am there to see if you will let me in the store, and because uh, I would like to shop. Mm-hmm. But if you don't want me to shop here without my mask on, I just I won't shop there. Mm-hmm. And so she ran after me, and I'm thinking like, what you know, like what's going on? But she was like, um, you don't have to leave. Yeah, you, you don't, don't have, have to leave. leave. And I and I said, oh, I'm not gonna wear a mask, so I'll I'll just leave. And she said, no, 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 no it's required that you wear a mask but it's not mandatory yeah those two words mean the same they mean the same thing (laughs) like i looked it up in the dictionary i went home after this was all over and i thought am i wrong here like it doesn't it mean it means the same exact thing but her point was we have to have these physical signs and we have to like put on this show Mm -hmm. But you're not gonna make me mad, because I, I told I told her I said I don't want to make anybody mad. She said, Oh, you're not gonna make me mad. Yeah. She wants people to shop yeah. in the store, which is a good idea. You don't want your store to go under, mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, so yeah. So that was an and interesting knew, kind of a thing. Yeah, she knew that they 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 knew, she was told that they're not allowed to force anybody to do the thing. Mm-hmm. So she just wanted to make that clear, and she also didn't want the place to close, right? Like right. You said. Mm-hmm. So. I'd like to wrap this up to talk about quickly the similarities between this situation and Ernest goes to camp. So Ernest, okay, he made a mistake, right? He talked the chief into signing away the camp, True. right? Mm-hmm. It was a mistake. It was like early on, didn't really understand what was going on. He said, oh yeah, okay, this looks like a good thing, whatever this is. He was deceived though. He mm-hmm. thought it was for something else. Mm-hmm. But then once he realized he made a mistake, he said, no, 
They're right. not going to take this camp. We're going to get it back. And that's the same with the country, right? Right. We're not going to let them take it, take it over. It may be beyond where it needs, you know, like saving, but I hope not. I don't think it's beyond saving. I think there's a lot of people out there who are saying the same things. It's just not, it's not evident mm -hmm. because the biggest place to share ideas and information is online. And it's a lot heavily, of that is controlled. Heavily censored. Even yeah. by YouTube, like, yeah. and well, and now we said censored in YouTube in the video, but now, now no one will see this video. Right. But. I love the WEF. <laughs> but I mean, but you know, like there are, there are things in place that make it difficult to find like-minded people where, where you can know like, oh, this is actually a lot of people think this way. There are, you can find it even on YouTube. You can still find plenty of places where people have this mm -hmm. kind of mindset. But, um, but if you, you, if you aren't aware that YouTube is doing a, an aggressive job of like trying to quieten those voices and amplify the other voices. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one, one thing that can help you if you don't currently see that. Yeah. So on that and in closing, if you'd like to stay in touch with us outside of uh, these, these media outlets, you can go to the link in the description uh, and sign up for our newsletter, which will then give you access to our discord server where you can talk with us. And as we grow that, community with other people who agree with the things that we say. And if anybody comes in there that thinks stupidly, we'll probably censor them. <laughs> or we'll just shut them down by mere facts. Right. Thanks for joining us.